Hey what's up everyone and welcome back to another Figma review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Figma number 193, Kuroki Rei, from the anime Vivid Red Operation. This is your standard, smaller sized Figma box, with a window section in the front so you can see what's inside, pictures of the figure on the top, bottom and sides, and on the back here you can see what Rei will look like out of the box and in some poses. So let's get this Figma out and have a closer look. As usual on the back here a cutout part for using with a DI stage. Through the inside clear packaging you can see that although this is one of the smaller sized boxes there are quite a few accessories in here which include two extra faces as well as the default one, bow and arrow, a handgun and an extra pair of shorts with a handgun shoved down them and a submachine gun. As always with a Figma this is another top notch figure and looks great. The attention to detail is amazing, the sculpt and paint is superb and the colours look great. However, on the negative side the joints in the legs, especially at the ankles, stand out quite a bit. The sculpt of the hair is great and the facial features are sharp and well detailed. So on to the accessories and first up is the bow, which is by far the biggest of all the accessories that come with this. Next up is the arrow for the bow which is made out of this cool looking clear yellow plastic. The handgun, which is very nicely detailed for something that's pretty small. The submachine gun, which is also nicely detailed, which has this really nice flexible strap that's made out of this faux leather type material. And lastly we have an alternate pair of shorts, which have her handgun shoved down the back of them. And now onto the faces, and first up we've got the default face, a snarling, glaring, angry face, and lastly, an embarrassed face. As for hands, we have a pair of fists, a pair of spread open hands, a pair of general use holding hands which you can hold other Figma's accessories with, a pair of hands for holding the handgun or the submachine gun, and lastly, a left hand for holding the bow, and a right hand for holding the arrow. So let's have a look at all of this in a few poses. And now a look at the articulation. The head all the way down, all the way back up again. Movement side to side, and the movement at the arm all the way up. All the way back down again, and you can rotate that all the way around. The range of motion at the elbow is a little bit limited. Movement at the wrist all the way forward, all the way back. There's a little bit of back and forward wiggle here at the torso. The leg movement all the way out, can't quite do the splits. All the way up to the front, and all the way to the back. The bend at the knee, and the movement at the ankle all the way up to the front, and all the way to the back, and side to side. So that's it for the Figma Kuroki Rei. I'd say it again as I've said it so many times before, you really can't go wrong with a Figma. The quality is the best you can get in this scale and price range, and Ray comes with a great set of accessories to boot. So if you're a Figma fan, a Vivid Red Operation fan, or just like anime and figures in general, I'd say go for it. So thank you very much for watching, and come back again for more figure and model kit reviews.